welcome to another video. This video features Backman's Percy the Small Engine in N scale, their item number 58792. Backman have been producing N scale Thomas Tank Engine Locos for the last couple of years now. Um, and over the past few months I've picked up a couple and I decided I'd get Percy. I've just taken Percy out of its um, protective wrapping and I can instantly see that the coupling rods aren't where they should be. Hopefully this is going to be a really easy fix but it is rather disappointing to see this on a otherwise brand new loco that's just been delivered. So let's open up and just see what this loco is really like inside. It's a standard dual case with various bits of information within it. Things about the Backman Collectors Club and Catalog. The warranty, which from previous experience I know is only applicable within the US. Um, however, as this loco was purchased from a UK retailer, should I need to return it, it will go back to them. Let's just have a quick look and see what it says within the text it will say about running in. I do know that Backman Locos they vary what it says for running in. Sometimes it will be um, a little while for it, an hour or so, sometimes it will be less. So it shows us all the different parts. Same as a Norman normal Backman loco. And let us just turn it over the other side. The other side is shown as being on and let's just take it out of its box. So if we ignore the coupling rod that isn't connected properly, we can see that actually this is a really nice little loco. I love the lamp iron on there, I can see that already. Some really nice detailing. If anything, it's got more detail than the James has got. Just a shame about that detached coupling. We'll just stop the video quickly and we will see if we can put that back together. Well, that was a relatively easy fix. It's only taken me a minute or so to put it back on, which is really nice. I suspect it's happened because it's at its limit of travel and with rattling around within the postal system from the US and within the UK, it's probably just got bashed out. Um, as we can see, there's no cab detail, but it's a lovely little loco just looking at the other detailing. We shall see how it runs. Well, Percy's now on the track. Let's see how Percy will run. That's the first time. I'm slightly concerned given that when I put Percy back on the track, the coupling rod fell off again. But we shall just see if that affects its running. Ooh, that's not good, is it? As soon as I move, it's fallen off again. And it's stopped it. Let's see if it'll go the other way about it. No. This is really not looking good. I suspect this is a loco that will be going back. Let's give it another try to see if this will work or not. Well, with a bit of a nudge it does work, but I can see that again the rod is falling off. It's not staying on as it should do, and it won't. The running does not appear to be brilliant. I wonder if running in will improve things. It's a real shame, this. I was really looking forward to having a Percy that looked good and worked well. Well, let's give Percy a run where it's running in and just see how it's going to work. Just try it a little bit more, slow speed, and see what it does at about 50%. Well, what I can instantly see is Percy's speed um, isn't particularly high, however, Given Percy's a small loco, it would be used for shunting. Again, that's kind of what we would expect. Right, let's send Percy off 
for some running in and see if things improve. Percy's now had a good long run in, um, good 45 minutes each way to make sure that everything is working as it should do. There's been not a single bit of stalling or any derailments during that running in, which is actually really, really pleasing to see. And let's see if he's any less stuttery on starting off or on starting off in reverse. Well, that's actually much better than it was earlier. Let's try going the other way. And he's just stopped there with a gentle nudge. And I stopped again. So, still not perfect at running, but we're talking about a four-wheeler here, so not brilliant, but not too bad overall. I do wonder whether some of it is down to that loose valve gear and it's sticking in some way. It's very frustrating. So, now we've seen that Percy has run in and is running. Let's compare Percy to um, the Tomex version of Percy. So here we have both the Backman Percy and the Tomex Percy. As can be seen, the Tomex Percy is significantly bigger than the Backman version. Um, and it's very obvious that if I turn them round, so we've got the Tomex one turned around. Seeing the difference in height between the cabs and the bunkers, it's really, really noticeable. I think if you were to want to pick and choose between it, you've either got to choose the Tomex ones or you've got to choose the back ones. I don't think you could run them between each other. However, which looks better against a standard British N-Gage model? Well, if I put a Graham Farish Toad next to the Tomix Percy, we can see that it comes up to there. If I put the same one next to the Backman Percy, we can see it comes up to there. I would say that the Backman models are far better in terms of scale height. So for the next test, I have hooked Percy up to a long goods train. We've got 21 wagons on this train, a mixture of Pico and Graham Farish. It might be too much for Percy, but we shall give it a go. As can be seen, Percy is hauling this train round with absolutely no issues at all. There's no slippage, no stuttering. Currently running round at about 75%. So really, really good haulage ability. Far in excess of what I was expecting. Really, really pleased to see that. This test track, it's a mix of radius two and radius three curves. Um, there's some slight gradients on it as well. None of these are causing any issues at all for Percy. What do we think about the Backman Percy? Well, the Backman Percy is a beautiful model. It's just a real shame that one I appear to have is faulted with the connecting rod on the coupling. It's, it has fallen off a couple of times whilst running which is still in the low coat and frankly that's not acceptable for a brand new model um, so it looks like I will be returning this either for a refund or a replacement item 
which is a real shame because it is such a beautiful model. Um, however, that said, even though it's, this one is faulty, I hope that if I do get a replacement, the next one I get will be as beautiful a runner as this one, but just one that works properly. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and have found it informative about Percy from the Backman N-Scale range.